This is why I hate Murphy beds. This is absolutely why I hate Murphy beds. Hey loves, Kim here and I'm back with another episode of the Super Sim Challenge. If this is your first time on the channel, I just want to say welcome. Hi, my name is Kim. I'm primarily a Sims 4 builder, but I wanted to do more gameplay, so in comes the Super Sim Challenge. Now, if you haven't caught up with the other parts, I will definitely leave a card on the screen and a link for that playlist down in the description box below. But if you're all caught up, let's move on to part 4. So, in part 3, I asked you guys how should I remodel mix house because I really was not loving the house that was here before so if you just give me one moment I will show you what answer was chosen hey guys so I am here with all of the answers from last week question of the day so I have all of the responses here let's go ahead and choose a winner okay and the winner is the winner is Janice and it says make it look more modern so I definitely like that answer thank you so so much Janice for your input thank you everyone for answering the question of the day let's go ahead and get back to the Super Sim series and I can't wait to show you guys how Mick's new house looks that's right you guys so it was a modern home makeover for Mick and I think this is perfect for her I love modern homes so shout out to you Janice thank you so much for the great suggestion and thank you everyone who submitted an answer just continue to submit for my questions of the day it really helps to shape this LP and I thank each and every one of you guys so I've been itching to do a tiny home for the longest it's been such a while and my thoughts kind of been reaffirmed in the comments by Kyrie Play. Shout out to you also. And she said that uh, maybe Mick can have a modern micro home so she can get all of the benefits like having the fine mood lid and having um, just other mood lids and buffs and just less bill. So I thought that was a perfect way to do it. So let me go ahead and show you guys what her house looks like on the inside. It's so tiny, right? But you know what? It's just enough for her to do everything that she needs to do. She has the Murphy bed with a built-in bookshelf and um, storage. She has her kitchenette here. She has her little entertainment set up with her wardrobe bathroom off to the side and of course it looks better in the daytime and I'll show y'all more the outside in the morning but as you can see her needs are kind of trash I mean she had a good day of work but she definitely needs to rest and recover so I'm going to go ahead and work on her needs and I'll catch up with you guys in the morning let's try to put this bed down mm -mm. Mm -mm. absolutely not we're going to reset you because I've been through this enough times before when they have an issue with that bed. This is why I hate Murphy beds. This is absolutely why I hate Murphy beds. Please don't die. Please don't die, Mick. Oh, my gosh. What? No. I need him to go away. I need him to go away. Can she come back alive? I legit don't know what to do right now. I'm gonna get another bed. I really want a Murphy bed because I don't have the space for a regular size bed, but y'all are about to play me with these defective beds. So we're gonna politely sell that. We're going to get us another bed, just a whole nother Murphy bed. She really needs to get her handiness going. Like seriously. And you know, I'm going to get a different color and everything. Finally. Okay, Mick, go to sleep. <laughs> I'll catch y'all in the morning. 
Okay, clearly Mick slept through her alarm. It is literally 7.58 in the morning. <laughs> She's feeling fine, so she has the mood let because she has a micro, a micro home. Um, so, yeah, that's definitely going to help her. But it's time for her to get to work. Ah, uh, and I didn't have a chance to put in my, um, uh, my grilled cheese that I made. But you know what? We're just going to go ahead and join her. We're going to have a good day. I'm speaking it. I'm claiming it. Wish us luck. All right. So Miss Mick is at the police station. I don't have time to chat with you. It looks like our task today is to get a case assignment. I'm still wondering if we arrested the right person from the last part. Who knows? I don't know. Maybe we'll get to that in this point. But it says get a case assignment, and I need to go to a computer to get a case assignment. Okay. So are there any computers available right now? Okay, yeah, there's one over here. We'll do that. Okay, so I need to... Use the crime map to travel to the scene of the crime and start an investigation. Okay, so here's the map. I do know that. I'm going to start a case map. I'm going to need you to come out this conversation because we definitely need to be working towards a promotion. Our tasks are to go to a crime scene and to go on patrol. So I have to do both of those things in order to be eligible for a promotion. So I definitely got to use my time wisely today. Okay, so she set up the newest case. Now will be a good time to travel to the first crime scene. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Strangerville. Oh, gosh, only strange things come from Strangerville. So um, it says, welcome to Strangerville. The only thing stranger than the people is the flora. Okay, interesting flowers. Soon after moving in, the town slogan is starting to make sense to you. Some of the locals are acting a bit suspicious, and there's a large number of military and scientists in town. That's interesting. So, wait. I know this is a tangent, but I know in the scientist's career, it's like they're working in the middle of the desert. Now, initially, I thought that was Oasis Springs, but what if this whole time the scientist's career is located in Strangerville? Kind of interesting. Anyway, um, I think this is just like the welcome message. I don't think this has anything to do with our crime scene. Okay, here's the right one. At the crime scene, you can find clues that will help you track down a suspect, investigate damage or stolen objects, and search for clues on the ground nearby to uncover more evidence. Also, talk with witnesses to get a report about what happened. So, before I press the play button and waste my time, let's go ahead and check out the crime scene. So, it looks like we have a couple of witnesses here, at least three witnesses. I'm going to see if I can find anything like damaged. I know at the last crime scene, it was like some burnt things. So I don't know exactly. Okay, so I see something burnt here already. And is there anything else burnt? I think this object is, the, is just black. I don't think it's burnt. Let's see. That's a nice kitchen. Okay, the refrigerator is burnt. So that stereo, the refrigerator, let's see, what's upstairs, actually let's check out back since I'm already around here, hmm, don't see anything burnt out back, is this over here part of the property, no I don't think so. Let's see what is like exactly on the property. Okay, just the house itself is the property. Okay, let's go ahead and go upstairs. See, is anything burnt up here? I mean, nothing's burnt. It's just tacky, but everything seems to be good in here. This is a unusually large bathroom. But I don't see anything burnt in the bathroom or damaged. Nor in this bathroom. Or any of these rooms. So the rooms upstairs look relatively clean and like undamaged. It's just those items downstairs. So let's start off by talking to some of the witnesses. See what they have to say. And let's start with you. 
take her report. We're just gonna go ahead and take everybody's report. Okay, he's crying, so this must have been his house. Let's see what everyone has to say. Okay, so his port was added. It didn't say anything in particular. He provided an account of what he saw. Okay, Mr. Sergio, let's talk to this lady here. Get a report. That wasn't there before when I looked at first, so I think she did it. Let me not let me not jump to conclusions. I'm still not sure about the last, but this was not here before, so that's interesting. That actually just showed up, or maybe like the game hadn't fully loaded, but that dirt mark wasn't there either. Let's get her report and see if anything else has become dirty now. Oh my gosh, she's she's tense. This is like the last type of mood that I need to be in. Okay. Mick's not having fun, but it's okay. We're going to get there. Let's go ahead and search for clues. I still don't quite know what that means, but I'm just going to click around. No, why are you trying to read on the job, Mick? Okay, let's search for clues here. Is there anything out back? All right, searching for clues. I don't really see anything this way. Oh, there's another little stain out back too. So we'll go ahead and check down there as well. I wish there was a way to make her like less tense. Like I really wanted to do some yoga first thing but she kind of like slept straight through her alarm I had a lot of problems going to sleep but you know we're here okay so it's saying to search around here but I really don't see anything else let's go ahead and um, take the inventory of those items that I said were burnt so that's the refrigerator we're gonna collect evidence and get a picture. Also that stereo in the front room. Take a picture and collect some evidence. Officer Nisi is on the case. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so we need to, didn't it count that picture that I just took? Okay, it just says take some more pictures. So I guess they recognize that I took the first. Search for clues over here. I'm pretty sure they're trying to say that's the thing that I was supposed to be looking for. So I'm collecting more clues. Ooh. Ooh. What was that? What is that? Looks like feathers. Interesting. Did I collect the sample? Okay, it's already been performed. So is anything else gonna like appear like it did there? I don't know. Let's look around for clues in here. See if anything comes up. I didn't see anything new pop up. I'm going to let her talk outside while I stay inside and search for more clues. Let's search for some clues in here. Come on, Mick. Cheer up. Stop trying to read, though. Um, is there anything else I could take a picture of? Okay, so I already did that, already did that. Is there any more evidence? Like, I wish it would tell you, like, why you're here. Like, was there a robbery? Was there a fight? Like, what exactly am I here for? Because I feel like that would give me a better idea of what I should be looking for. I mean, things are burnt, so maybe I should check by the grill. Let's search for clues again by the grill. See if anything new comes up. Oh, what's this? Hey, I'm onto something. Yes, okay. Collecting more evidence. I wish there was more pictures I could take though. Let's see. I'm going to go back in here and search for clues by the refrigerator. 
Like it says I need to take another picture, but another picture of what? Nothing is giving me the option to take a picture. I guess take another picture of the refrigerator. Ooh, something else. What is that? Is that a shoe? Yeah, that's a shoe. Okay, but what else is this thing over here? I don't know what that is. Is that supposed to be like a scuff mark or a piece of clothing? Come on, Mick. Just come on. Take sample. Ooh, and I can take a picture. Hopefully this will be the last thing I need to take a picture of. Okay, so it looks like I have a good amount of evidence here. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the police station. I feel like we're doing a lot better in this part than we did the last part. Uh, okay, so Mick is tense because she's not having fun and she's hungry. I think I have something in her inventory that she can eat. So let's go ahead and eat that plantain. Let's eat the plantain. And then um, I am going to go on patrol if it lets me. Like I know I need to analyze the evidence, talk to the chief and all of that. But I'm also trying to get a promotion. So I think I'm going to go on patrol instead. All right, so I'm on patrol. My task right now is to chat with the civilians, issue a citation, and spend two hours on patrol. Okay, and I kind of want to get some of those other things done too, um, like the um, analyze the evidence and talk to the chief. So I may be working late today, but for now, let's be on patrol. Let's keep our eye out for anybody who needs a citation. Mick is walking into what looks like a bar. Is this a bar or a library? I guess it's a library. Yeah, I don't know how I got bar and library confused. Although I love Windenburg, I really haven't played with the, um, the current lots. Okay, she's browsing art on the computer. I need her. Actually, where are you, Mick? What I want you to do, I want you to browse Simpedia. And then I'll help you um, be on patrol because I want to help her to get back in the focus mood. Yeah, let's browse Simpedia because I think that's supposed to help her with her focus. And I don't see any civilians right now. But if I do, Mick will be sure to chat with them. I don't see anybody. Ooh, good. Now she's focused. And eating the vegetables, well, the fruit, <laughs> helped her too. Um, is there anybody in the library? Because if not, I'm going to have her to, um, I'm going to have her blog about her feelings. I think that was a thing as well. I'm just trying to help her not be tense. This is so not what you should be doing at work, but there's literally no one here. Let's have her troll. She deserve. Actually, no. We're not going to do any of that because I want her to stay focused. Mick, stop slacking off. <laughs> um, I don't see anybody, though. Like, literally, this is a ghost town. Like, am I missing something? I feel like I don't see anybody. Okay, here's somebody. I guess we can just chat with them for a second. Oh, and here's another civilian. Chat with them as well. Does anybody need a citation? That's a kid. Uh, I guess I can speak to the kid. There's more and more people showing up. There's somebody with pink hair. Slow down! Um, I guess we can chat. And I'm going to go ahead and extend my work day to 7. Stay late. Alright, where are you, Mick? There she is. Yeah, it's just saying chat with more civilians, so that's what I'll do. And I'm just looking around to see if anyone's going to get into a fight. I don't see anyone who needs a citation. So if by 4... Maybe like 4.30, 4.45, if I don't see a fight or anything, I'm just going to go back to the station. Yeah, I don't see anybody who needs a citation right now. Mm, 
Mm, I'll give it a couple more seconds. Okay, this person is stomping, so... I mean, they look like they're about to cause some trouble, but I think I've been on patrol for at least two sim hours. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the station now. Okay, so we're finally back at the station. I have some more tasks, so I need to analyze some evidence, search criminals at the booking station, and go to a um, crime scene. I don't think I'm going to have time to go to the crime scene. If I do, um, I might just show up to complete the task, but I don't think I'm going to actually have time to do anything. But let's analyze this evidence from our case from the day. I want to be as sure as possible. Mink, I know you're in a tight. Um, analyze two pieces of evidence for me, and then you can go to the bathroom. Actually, just analyze one, and then you can go to the bathroom, because I want to make sure that we're focused. And right now, I have two things making me uncomfortable. Let me go ahead and put these walls down, too. Okay, was it successful? Oh, she's still analyzing. I'm going to speed this up just a little bit. Okay, so that was successful evidence. Did you seriously hop on the machine that I was going to use, dude? Let's see how her work performance is looking, though. Like, she's doing pretty good. I mean, it says that her, her performance is average right now. But that's okay. We got both of our tasks done. She is like going through it, y'all. Uh, what is that? Did you did y'all see her rubbing her hands together? I guess that didn't work out. Okay, let's try to analyze one more thing. And let's try to do it before they kick us out. Oh yeah, I think maybe her being uncomfortable is affecting how her performance is too. Why is she giving like the evil laugh? Well, end of the shift. <laughs> Hopefully that piece of evidence analyzed successfully. It said that Mick did a fantastic job today. There may be a shinier badge and a new title in her future. So yeah, let's go ahead and go home. All right, you guys, so we're finally back home. Mick has definitely had a long, hard day at work, but we had a good day. Not quite a promotion, but we are well on our way. Let's see what our tasks are right now. Yeah, we're pretty good on our task and also with our aspirations. We're still working on becoming a renaissance sim, so I think I'm just going to have her work on getting towards the logic still. I think that's also going to help us with our um, detective job and she needs to finish reading three books. I'm going to actually have her start reading on the books. Um, and I realized that I didn't actually get to show you guys the outside of the house. So here is the house. Like I said, it is a modern home and it's also a micro home. It is exactly, <laughs> exactly 32 tiles. But yeah, it's a cute little house. It's bright yellow to match Mick's bright and shining personality. And it's small, but it has everything she needs. She has her luxury one-by-one -one tile pool out back, truly living the life. Maybe Mick can sit on the side and put her feet in. Um, she also has her bee box, her, um, her artist easel, and like her garden. So all of the smaller... Harvestables are within this fence, and then the larger things that are going to become trees are out here. So um, I know Mick is tired. I know she's hungry. Let's go ahead and just have her eat a little plantain to keep her going, which should be in her inventory. Yeah, just eat that for now, Mick. I'm sorry, sweetie. I know I would definitely take care of your needs. But um, I'm going to have her tend to her garden because it's looking kind of dry, y'all. It's looking kind of dry. So actually, I'm going to use the, su um, the suggestion from L. Silas, and they recommended that while I'm working on certain skills to switch my aspiration. So I'm pretty sure there is a nature aspiration, and it says freelance botanist. It's probably going to be the closest to what we need um, and the closest to um, what's going to help with the gardening. So I'm switching it to botanist. 
and it says plant something three times weed or water plants ten times so since I'm going to do some gardening nothing needs water seriously can I weed something are these in season okay so these are out of season uh oh um <laughs> so we're gonna hold off on the planting and the gardening the mushrooms are pretty good let's go ahead and sell those are the grapes in season no so they all of these do better in the fall time so you know what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go ahead and stick them in our inventory right now so they don't spoil or like go to waste I'm gonna have her work on the mushrooms so here's today's question of the day and I've been thinking about it for this whole part Mick has been getting really really tense lately um, and I feel like it's probably best if we can help her to unwind and tomorrow is gonna be her last day at work and then she'll have two days off so as a reward for working so hard what will Mick do to celebrate her first week at work leave me a comment in the chat and in the comments down below Mick definitely deserves some R&R &R. I don't know if you know she's just gonna have a day of sleeping or if she's gonna go out to maybe like a karaoke bar or to a lounge or meet some people I don't know but I definitely want Mick to relax I want her to unwind and I want her just to feel overall rested and feel really good about herself also if you haven't done so already be sure to make Mick some friends use the hashtag Mick BFF I'll also put that on the screen and uh, make sure you use that in the description or in the title so when I search on the gallery I'll be able to find the sims that you make Mick definitely needs a sim friend group and I would love to see what um, sims you guys will create for her so definitely hook Mick up with some friends but Anyway, um, since I can't really garden, I think this is a good place to stop. I'm going to go ahead and have Mick do some yoga to unwind. And our bed is broken. Great. Great. No, 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 no. Do not get in that bed. Do not get in that bed. You know what? What I'm going to do, I'm going to have her repair it. I'm going to have her work on repairing it. That way we can gain the handiness skill. Do we have that skill already? Okay, so we're gaining a new skill. I'm gonna have her practice some yoga to unwind. And then Mick is probably gonna turn in for the evening. So if you made it this far in the video, I just wanna say thank you all so, so much for watching. Be sure to um, leave me an answer for today's question of the day. And also be sure to make Mick some friends. The girl is lonely. She could definitely use some friends in her life. And I'm depending on you guys to help Mick's life wonderful. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just rambling at this point. Um, also, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit that bell if you haven't done so already. It helps me and the channel out more than you know. If you want to see anything else that I've created on the gallery, definitely check me out on Origin. Um, my Origin ID is simply Dash Nisi. And if you want to see any more pictures from my gameplay or any builds that I post on my social medias, be sure to do so. And all of my um, social medias are down in the description box below again you guys thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you in the next video bye guys